okay 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 welcome to part number three guys and if you missed part number one and two definitely go and check them out first because i really think that the main idea is on communication and leadership but if you are already here it's because most likely you already watched those so let's check out how can toastmaster help you in other areas of your life not only on communication and leadership but maybe more into the near future i know that maybe investing one semester two semesters maybe two years or so seems a lot to you you want something because you are already searching for a job or you're already in that great position that requires you to have a lot of communication or leadership skills i get it so how can toastmaster help you right away with this let's check it out so if you're looking for a job, most likely you're going to have a interview. Toastmaster helps a lot with interviews. Why? Because of the impromptu speeches or table topics that will help you develop a lot of creativity, a lot of structure, more importantly, and confidence in yourself. But more importantly, if you go into a club and let them know that maybe you need help with a specific set of questions, they can help you. There's actually projects that are based on interviews or job interviews. For instance, the members can ask you the typical questions. What has been your work position? Why are you changing from company? Why were you fired or laid off? What is your worst skill? How can you help the company improve in the nearest future? Why do you think you are valuable for the company? A lot of questions that, of course, you may have answered, but it's not the same just writing and having them in your mind than going to club and practicing person to person. So if you're looking for a great interview, definitely go and check it out in a Toastmaster club. A special bonus here, guys, that I forgot. I want to add it, it's very important. Not only you're going to be able to practice, which that will be a lot of work already, but you're going to get a lot of feedback and you will be able to work on that feedback and improve your skills or let's say interview skills and definitely for sure land that job. Another way in which Toastmaster can help you directly is via your resume. If you add that to your resume, first, it can be a conversation starter. There's a lot of Toastmaster out there, so why not just simply add it? I really think that there is a great ambience or camaraderie between Toastmasters, and this can help you at least to land an interview, and why not maybe even start a conversation, a friendly interaction, and maybe why not land the job. And another way in which being a Toastmaster can help you in your resume is that currently, nowadays, most of applications are done online. And because of this, there's computer algorithms that try to look not only for your GPA, not only for your actual bachelor or what you study, your qualification, your profile, but also they try to look for certain type of skills. For instance, leadership skills, communication skills. And I'm sure that whenever the algorithm catches your resume and they compare it and they see that there's leadership skills, communication skills, you will have an extra edge versus your competitors. This may be not that great right now because maybe you haven't tried it out, but whenever you work in a voluntary organization, you understand the importance of being someone of service towards your community, of helping others. And that's something that it's not about money, it's mostly into the soul that it really feels great to be able to help other people. That's why a lot of teachers, even though they may not get really great pay, they enjoy their work because they know that they are doing something very noble. And the idea of Toastmaster is exactly that, being of service not only to yourself, but with your members, with your club, and so on. Voluntary work is something definitely worth checking out. Actually, I'm pretty sure I will be making a video on that. But for now, just stick into voluntary work is great. Management skills are the skills that you will learn very quickly while being a Toastmaster. So if you're in this new role or a new position, you will definitely take a lot of advantage of being a Toastmaster. For instance, how to manage time, how to manage people, how to manage communication within the team. These are things that definitely will help you in the short run. Meeting people is something great. Whenever you're looking for a job, you need to make a lot of connections, a lot of networking, maybe people that work in HR, maybe some type of engineers that work in similar roles that you're looking for. They can help you to at least send your resume to the correct person or at least give you a contact with the correct person that will eventually make you land an interview. 
And not only that, if you're in the sales part, or maybe you are an entrepreneur, you want to sell ideas, pitch your idea, this may be a great place to do it. Not only that, if you're already maybe working and you're looking for hiring or so, this will be a great place. You already know that these people are working towards improving communication and leadership. Which other place would you like to look for your employees? And finally guys, one of the things that we get a lot especially with new members, is that they say that, wow, you guys, you are very organized, you have all with chronometer, you have a very great public speaking and so on. This is because we have an actual agenda, we have organization, we have people in charge, everything. And what I want to say with this is not just, of course, to brag about how great this session is, but what you're going to see is that how Toastmaster organizes will help you maybe to get inspired on how to organize certain type of teams, certain type of interactions, certain type of reunions, maybe online meetings, how to do this, adding a timer. I have heard that a lot of people have done that. Maybe adding a secretary that adds all the important information. The typical content that was seen in the reunion will be sent to email. I know that these things sound very easy, but in real life, you will see that there's a lot of things that make a lot of sense that are not being done right away. And that's it guys, I wanted to finish the video series and we are all set. So remember part one was about communication, part two was about leadership, and part three were very quick things that you get from Toastmaster from signing up directly. If you were not yet convinced on joining a Toastmaster club, but maybe you are now, go and check out in the description right here. It's the typical find a club link that will show you what are the nearest club around you. Or if you want to join us, our Toastmaster session, you are more than welcome. More importantly, guys, if you are a Toastmaster, please let us know once again, what are those little details that maybe you didn't consider whenever enrolling as a Toastmaster, but you think is of great value to you. Please let us know in the comment section below so all the other persons can know what are the great benefits of being a Toastmaster member. And finally guys, I know that this may have been a different type of video versus chemical engineering, maybe even pushy or selly in the sense that maybe you think that I want to sell you memberships or so, but it's not the case. I really want to explore more content in the chemical engineering scene. I really know that engineers are very famous for being not that great in communication. Maybe leadership is of course great for some people. Some people are just great in communication, but Engineering plus communication, I'm pretty sure that everyone can improve their communication skills. So guys, let me know in the comment sections if you really like this type of content or if I should stick into more technical content. Maybe you want to know more about chemical engineering itself, not that much into the life of chemical engineers or skills or how to improve it. Okay, so I will be checking out those comments guys and on my behalf, that will be it. I'll see you in the next video.